and then um, for making the Angelina wings this is not just for the fairy I'm just going to go bigger again this is for any um, type of where you want to turn the um, the nice and I'm gonna unpack this now so you can see this is well well contained in these uh, paper bags and when you open it up take it out that is just it's just lusher than lush honestly it is so nice angelina fiber i am like a magpie i love sparkly things they're just so nice anyway so what you do is you um you want to have the the fibers of the angelina fiber running in the direction of how the wings would naturally uh, perhaps go so just hold this really close so the the fibers are running um in that direction so this is how you would um, lay them out and because you get a template in your um, on your instructions that you can use for the wings you can lay out um, you can lay the instructions under greaseproof paper this is the other thing that you need is so you need greaseproof paper and I'm just going to go um, again close up because you want to see that better so I've got my um, greaseproof paper on top of here and then you're using the Angelina fiber um, and take sort of little strands off I'm going to pack this under this board because it doesn't need to stick up. This is only because it's curving. There we go. Get that nice and neat there. So I'm using the template underneath so I can see where my wings, how big they are. And you can um, shorten the Angelina fiber by just gently um, tearing them. And so I'm making uh, one side go like that and the other side the other way. You will notice that you have extra Angelina fiber over. So if you want to mix this in into your in the making of the fairy, you can do this. I haven't done this on mine, but you can do this. So now I've I've got my two wings um, out to the side, and then you fold this uh, greaseproof paper in half. So the the Angelina fiber hasn't moved, but it's nice and flat. And now I'm going to grab my iron there, and all I'm doing is on a hot heat. I'm going across the Angelina fiber for a few seconds. You can see that it changes slightly colors. And this way, the Angelina fiber gets fused together. It doesn't stick to anything else other than to itself. That's the magic about um, heat bondable Angelina fiber. And when you've done this, you can open up your sheet. And even though it looks like it might be stuck to it, it's not. It comes off really easily. So you can put your paper away is the shape of the wings that um, you have made and now you can use um, a pen ideally a blue pen but I um, I thought I had one Fuck, I, well let's use a purple pen um, or even a pencil and you draw around um, the wings um, whilst the template is underneath it because the the actual Angelina fiber foil that you've created is see-through there so use a pen that is um, complementary to the actual wings rather than using one that when you cut the, um, around it, it looks horrid. So I could have probably gone um, short changed that a little bit there at the bottom. I could have gone a bit higher up. But in any case, you're cutting the excess wispy ends of the Angelina fiber off. Like that. Going all the way around. You could cut um, the um, excess of that line, so just cut on the inside line of that um, line that I've just drawn. And in no time, you've got a nice pair of wings there. There. And I'm um, just going to go a bit bigger again. And then you can um, imagine that was the fairy. You can, you can attach the wings. There are two ways of doing it. You can either glue it on, which is the easier way, or you can ever so slightly needle felt into this um, through the fiber this here now is it's it's rock solid it's still sparkling it's very it's actually the camera doesn't probably do it justice it's a really nice uh, fabric and it's a great way of making um, wings um, especially for fairies or butterflies and um, we um, obviously you get the blue Angelina fiber in your forget-me-not fairy box but uh, we do sell um, the, the iridescent, which is like a moon, we call it moonstone, the white one. Um, we also have a pink one and a, um, I think we're out of the stock of the green one, which is sort of more like a dragonfly color. 
and then we've also got um i think we've got like um a gold iris one but i've forgotten what exactly what it's called but anyway this is the way of how to make um angelina fiber this has to be heat bondable angelina angelina fiber into a solid piece of um well it's almost not fabric solid piece of something or the other and then you can even cut it out so if you've not done this before you'll be really delighted to know and there's even some angelina fiber left if you wanted to you could mix that into the the skirt wall of the forget me not if you want her to be a really sparkly little thing and so you just um, mix it in by um, having that um, on uh, running along the fiber so you just get a little bit of a of a sparkly effect in in her skirt but um, obviously the wings are done at the very end if you want to use Angelina fiber in the fabric of the fairy then um, do the wings first and then you know exactly how much you've got left because the Angelina fiber is meant for the wings not for the dress um, so that's basically what you need to know about the fairy, the forget-me-not fairy.